matter. Everything around us is made up of matter. A matter is made up of small particles called molecules. These molecules are further made up of atoms. Atoms are also known as building blocks of matter as they are the smallest unit of matter. A number of molecules arranged together in a definite structure to form matter. In simple words, matter is something that has mass and occupies space. Molecular arrangement of matter decides its state and properties. Stone, wood, water, air, etc. are the different forms of matter that exist around us. States of matter According to arrangement of molecules, matter is categorized into solid, liquid and gas. Naturally, matter exists in all three states. Let's consider the example of water. Water naturally exists in liquid states, in rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. While it exists in solid state, in the form of ice, in glaciers, iceberg, ice cubes at poles and Greenland. In gaseous state, water is present as water vapor in the atmosphere. Solid Substances with fixed shape and volume are known as solids. Molecules of a solid are bonded with strong intermolecular force due to which they show rigid behavior. Solids are incompressible in nature and they occupy definite space. Some solids of lower strength show change in their original shape on application of force. This happens due to porosity present in them. Some solids may get squeezed too. Rock, wood, glass, iron, sponge, coal are some examples of solids. Liquid Substances with indefinite shape but fixed volume are known as liquids. Liquid molecules are bonded with comparatively weaker intermolecular force which enables them to flow. That is why liquids do not have a fixed shape. Liquids are very slightly compressible in nature and they occupy definite space. Due to their ability to flow, liquids fall under the category of fluids. Water, oil, mercury, milk, juice, aerated drinks are some examples of the liquids. Gas Substances with neither fixed shape nor fixed volume are known as gases. Gaseous molecules are held together by very weak intermolecular forces, which enables them to move freely. That is why gases occupy entire available space. Gases are very highly compressible in nature. Poor intermolecular force of attraction enables gases to flow. Along with liquids, gases also fall under the category of fluids. Air itself is a mixture of gases. Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, helium are some examples of gases. Molecular arrangement in matter. Properties of all the three states of matter differ from each other in every aspect. Properties of matter mainly depend on its molecular arrangement. Molecular arrangement in solids. In solids, molecules are closely packed. Intermolecular spacing is negligible in solids. Molecules of a solid are held together with intermolecular force of attraction. Magnitude of intermolecular force is greater in solids compared to other states of matter. Due to strong intermolecular bonding, it is very hard to displace solid molecules from their position. Solid molecules show nearly zero deviation even after application of force. Such type of molecular arrangement gives rigidity to solids. Molecular arrangement in liquids. Unlike solids, intermolecular spacing is not negligible in solids. Molecules are positioned distantly from each other in liquids. Unlike solids, liquids are not rigid in nature. Intermolecular force of attraction is lesser in liquids in comparison of solids.
This weak intermolecular bonding allows liquid molecules to get displaced from their place and enables them to flow. Application of an external force causes change in the position of liquid molecules, but distance between molecules remains the same. This makes them able to flow. On application of extremely high pressure, liquid compresses to a very small extent. Molecular Arrangement in Gases In gases, molecules are located far apart from each other. Intermolecular force of attraction is least in gases in comparison of rest of the states of matter. This enables gaseous molecules to roam freely in the container they are placed in. Due to weak intermolecular force, gases are highly compressible in nature and can be compressed easily by applying even manual force. Gases have no fixed shape as their molecules always keep moving in the container they are placed in. Properties of States of Matter Every state of matter has its own characteristic properties. For example, a solid cannot flow and a liquid or gas cannot be rigid. All these properties differ states of matter from each other. Major properties of all the three states of matter are Solids Solids have a definite shape and volume. Solids are incompressible in nature. Intermolecular force of attraction is strongest among liquids of solid. Intermolecular spacing is least in solids. Solid molecules contain minimum kinetic energy. Diffusion rate is very low in solids. Solids are rigid in nature. Liquids Liquids do not have a definite shape and take the shape of the container they are placed in. Liquids have a fixed volume. Liquids are slightly compressible in nature. Intermolecular force of attraction is comparatively lesser in liquids. Intermolecular space is comparatively more in liquids. Liquid molecules contain moderate kinetic energy. Diffusion rate in liquids is comparatively greater than that in solids. Liquids can flow. Gases Gases neither have a fixed shape nor a fixed volume. Gases are highly compressible in nature. Intermolecular force of attraction is least or negligible in case of gases. Intermolecular spacing is maximum in gases. Gaseous molecules possess maximum kinetic energy. Diffusion rate is maximum in gases. Gases can flow. Change of state. Matter can change its state. A solid may convert into liquid and a liquid may further convert to gas. This change in states of a matter is known as the interconversion of states. During interconversion of states, arrangement of the molecule changes. Sometimes this change in arrangement of molecules is reversible in nature, while sometimes it is irreversible in nature. This leads to categorization of changes. Changes are broadly categorized as physical change and chemical change. Physical change. Physical changes are those changes in which no new substance is formed. Usually, physical changes are reversible in nature. That is why they are also known as temporary change. All the processes of interconversion of states result in physical change. Tearing of a paper melting of wax, glowing of a bulb, etc. are some examples of the physical changes. To understand the reversibility phenomenon in physical change, let's consider the example of water. Water exists in liquid state in nature. When we add heat to the water, it converts into steam. After cooling, the steam converts back into liquid. When we extract heat from liquid or cool it down, it converts into ice. On addition of heat, this ice converts back into liquid. Thus, physical changes are reversible in nature. Chemical change Chemical changes are those changes in which one or more new substances are formed. Usually, chemical changes are irreversible in nature. That is why they are also known as permanent change. Burning fuel, burning of paper, burning of a candle wick, 
digestion of food, rusting of iron, etc. are some examples of the chemical change. The best example of chemical change is the process of corrosion. When the surface of a metal is exposed to the atmosphere, it starts to degenerate. In case of iron, corrosion is known as rusting. When iron is exposed to atmosphere, its outer layer slowly reacts with the atmospheric moisture. It forms a reddish-brown layer of ferrous oxide on the outer surface of iron. Thickness of this layer is the disintegrated part of the iron which cannot be obtained back through any means. Thus, chemical changes are irreversible in nature. Expansion and Contraction Expansion and Contraction are the temperature dependent processes. Addition of heat causes expansion while extraction of heat causes contraction. What will happen when we heat up a substance? Due to heat received, molecular kinetic energy of substance increases. This causes rapid vibration and motion of molecules. This increases intermolecular spacing between molecules of the substance. This leads to expansion of the substance. Thus, increase in dimension of a substance on heating is called expansion. When we cool down a substance, kinetic energy of its molecules decreases. Due to this decreased movement, intermolecular spacing decreases. This causes contraction in the dimension. Thus, decrease in the dimension of a substance on cooling is called contraction. At several places, expansion and contraction play important roles. For better understanding of these processes, let's consider an example of rails. In summers, we can observe an expansion in rails. This happens due to random vibration of molecules. This causes increase in length of rails. During winters, vibration of molecules slows down. Due to decreased movement, intermolecular space decreases and this causes contraction of rails. Hence, gaps are provided at the ends of the rails.